Hi all, in this video, let's learn about how to run multiple NPM scripts in parallel. So firstly, we may be seeing this type of commands in our applications. It means like once you run the lint, then after it will run the test, after that it will run this prettier, okay? So it means like if you want something to be executed in sequential order, you can go with this ampersands. There are two ampersands. If you want to go with the sequential order, you can go with this. But what if this lint is nowhere related to the test and tests are nowhere related to the prettier? It means you can execute these commands in parallel as well. So we'll do that. Like I will be showing you three methods how to do that. NPM by default will not provide this. Like it will not provide straightforward solutions to this. But we have workarounds for that. And why to run this NPM scripts in parallel? Because it will increase the efficiency and time of development. That's the reason we are going to do that. The first method, I will be installing a package called concurrently. This is a package, third party library. I'm installing that as a dev dependency. And now once it is installed, so I'm adding one more script, concurrent. Just I'm adding one script called concurrent. In that I'm writing concurrently, the one which we have installed as a dev dependency. And now I will be writing the commands to execute the scripts. So I'm using these commands. Like these are the three like uh, scripts, dummy scripts I wrote like to run the commands, okay? This is what the syntax concurrently and this is the first script you need to run. So you need to like uh, parse, like you need to skip this double quotes. That's the reason we wrote this slash in front. So like this, I need to copy paste, just copy paste and how many scripts you want, you can paste like this. So I'm just modifying the script here, the command which you wanted to execute, you can modify these things. So this is the first way you can use a concurrently. Now just, uh, I will run this npm run concurrent. Yes, all the three scripts would be running. So these scripts runs in parallel. Okay, so we can't predict which one would be coming first and last, but anyways, all the scripts would be running in parallel. That is the first way, okay? And the second way, similar to this concurrent, we have one more package called, I'm installing that package as a dev dependency. That package is npm run all. So that is a package name. Yep. Once it is installed, so we can write it. Yep. It was installed. Perfect. So let me write one more command call. So I'm using this npm all. So just, and now the syntax for this is npm run all. The one which we have installed. This is a package we have installed that. And just mention the scripts, whatever the scripts you want to run. Script one, script two, script three, like this. So this is more like readable format. You wanted to run these scripts. So this is more like syntactical wise as well. This is like, you need to write NPM run three times like this, and you need to skip these double quotations as well. Whereas with NPM run all, just mention the script, like which script you want to run, script one, script two, script three, like this. So all these scripts would be running in parallel. So let's see that NPM run NPM all so i'm using this command to run the this scripts hope everyone knows this npm run and i'm using this so underlining this command would be executed right so let me try this yep usually to, it executes it runs all these three things okay and this is a second method and coming to the third method so you may be seeing this like uh, let me write it here so this is like a bash cmd okay bash command so like for example, here you can directly do this. Like uh, you can directly run npm run script one ampersand, only one ampersand, not two ands. It's only one and you need to mention. What does this operator do? This is a, like in a bash, uh, this is like a background operator. It runs the scripts in the background. This is like in the shell script. It is famous in the shell scripts. It runs in the background, okay? Like this, similarly, you copy paste the two other scripts with the ampersand. So if you mention a single ampersand, it means like you're uh, running this with the parallel mode. If you mention a single, it, it runs in a parallel mode. If you mention double, it means you, if you uh, it is in a sequential mode. Two ampersands in a sequential mode, one ampersand in a parallel mode, okay? This is a, this, uh, is a very simple way, but it no need any third party library as well. The only thing is like it will only work in the Linux, Unix and Mac, Mac systems. Okay, that's the only thing we need to remember. And in the bash terminal also it would be running. So just to test this, yes, npm run bash cmd. So this is what I'm using. Yep, 
works fine. So these are the three different ways you can use to run the NPM scripts in parallel. One is concurrently, the other one is NPM run all, and other one is the bash background operator. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.